So another follow along handstand class. This time um, it's more of an intermediate uh, level. I'd say you'd need at least a 30 second freestand handstand to start playing with this. However, I have given some options against the wall as well. So this is mainly looking at shapes, but let's jump in, stretch the hip flexors first, quads, so up against the wall. So make sure that you can fully open the hip in this position. If you can't move the knee further away from the wall, you can make it a little bit harder by placing the arm up uh, in the air. So we're gonna do a 30 second hold on each side. Now with the warm up stretches I'm doing here, they're real basic, they're really just short. I'm just gonna open the hips up and I'm gonna open the hamstrings up. And I'm literally doing 30 seconds per side. Um, if you're tighter, if you have something you know that you need to work on, obviously stretch more before you do this. So I'm not gonna cover too many stretches, just that initial warm up. So opening the hips up with the quads and hip flexors, then going into a forward fold for the hamstrings. So forward fold, just taking the elbows towards the floor. If you're comfortable in this position, you could do little bounces. You could do a weighted Jefferson curl or something like that, or even a single leg hamstring stretch. So again, I'm doing this for 30 seconds, but you could go for more or less depending on how tight you are in this position. Okay, then we're gonna come down onto the floor and go through the wrist preparation. So I'm gonna place my hands on the floor shoulder width apart, index finger forwards, shoulders on top of the hands, push the floor away, do some circles, so slowly making the circle small and then slowly making it bigger and bigger and just start to test your boundaries on your, on your wrists, go wider and wider with that circle. Then we're gonna change direction Then we're gonna to start to walk the hands around. So going between flexion and extension. And again, just feeling the wrists out. If I find a tight bit, I'm gonna do a little bit more work in that position. And then slowly walk all the way around. So fingers are pointing backwards towards the knees. Walk the knees in towards the fingers. Sit the butt back towards the heels. And then just start to stretch the forearms and the back of the wrists. And then very slowly, I'm gonna peel up the palms, peel up the fingers through the knuckles really slowly. then shake the hands out, shake the wrists out, and then we're gonna go into a shoulder stretch. So I'm gonna have my hands shoulder width apart, I'm gonna go up onto fingertips, I'm gonna look at the fingertips as I take the chest and shoulders towards the floor. Keep looking at the fingers, keep the hips on top of the knees, keep the toes pushed into the floor. Okay, we're gonna jump, in, jump into the handstand drills now. I've only shown one set of each drill. I'd recommend that you do one to three sets. And then moving into entries. So this is where it will change depending on where you are on your level of entries. So you've got the kick-ups. So I'm gonna, here I'm doing five kick-ups. If I do five good kick-ups that I'm happy with, I'm gonna go into five jumps. Against the wall, I'm demonstrating five kick-ups and then five straddle jumps. Freestanding, I'm demonstrating five kick-ups and then five tuck jumps. But it's a good way to do it is to have five kick-ups and then five jumps of some sort and just vary the jumps. So total, you'll have 10 entries that you're happy with.
Okay, once you've done your 10 entries, have a little rest if you need it, have a stretch. And then we're gonna go into a freestanding hold. So either up against, up against the wall to so go on and off the wall. So I'd recommend here that you're aiming for a 60 second uh, time in a freestanding handstand and accumulate it if you need to. So on and off the wall and only count the time when you're away from the wall uh, or totally freestanding. If you're confident in this position, use this to relax the body as much as you can, but keep the best possible line. So try and have that balance between a really good line, but one that's very efficient as well. So you should be able to hold a conversation in this position. Okay, once you've done your freestanding hold, then it's gonna go into the first shape. We're just gonna um, go from a straight position into a tuck handstand and back out again. Here I'm showing against the wall and I'm showing freestanding. So just going as deep as you can, keeping the shoulders on top of the hands. So some people will go super deep in this position, some people won't go very deep at all. I'm sort of medium now where I go roughly 90 degrees at the hip. If I try and go any lower than that, my shoulders will go forwards. So I'm just going to the position that I can and then back up without those shoulders moving forwards. And I'm gonna to aim to get 10 repetitions. So for my level, I know that I can get 10 all in one go. So if I don't do that, I'll keep repeating this until I get 10 uh, back to back. Uh, the other option is to accumulate. Just make sure you get a straight into your tuck, back to straight, and then that counts as one rep and try and accumulate 10 of those. Or see if you can get as many as you can in a row and try and beat that every time you do it. Then doing the same with straddle. So I think this is a bit easier than tuck, but I'm a bit more happier in that straddle position. So from the straight position, I'm gonna to open to straddle, keeping the knees locked, toes pointed. Same thing, going as deep as I can, keeping the shoulders on top of the hands. The toes will go uh, one side of the body, the hips will go the other. So if you're doing it close to the wall, your butt might touch the wall, which is fine. We just don't want the heels to go over and touch the wall. So again, either accumulate uh, 10 repetitions or see if you can get 10 at once. Okay, now the main event. We're gonna try and put together a combination of shapes. So this is the sequence that I like to use and I teach first, is to go from a straight position to a straddle position, to a diamond position, and to a tuck, and then reverse back to the diamond, back to the straddle, and back to the straight. So once we're doing it, we're in a straight position, knees locked, toes pointed, open to the widest straddle I can, keeping those shoulders on top of the hands, keeping the knees locked and toes pointed. Then I'm gonna bend the knees, keeping the toes pointed till the toes touch each other, so you're in that diamond position. Then we're gonna bring the knees in, trying to keep the depth the same. I'm trying to bring the knees in to uh, my best tuck position, keeping the shoulders on top of the hands. Hold for a couple of seconds, and then back into that diamond position, keeping those toes pointed, so it's only the toes touching. Um, and then opening, locking the legs back out, knees locked, toes pointed, and slowly come back to that straight position with control. So ideally, I'm gonna try and get three repetitions in a row. So it's straight, straddle, diamond, tuck. Diamond, straddle, straight. And I've shown an option against the wall where the butt will come on and off the wall as you go. Heels can come on and off the wall in the straight position. So the goal there is free repetitions. Let me know how you go. Stick any comments below, especially if you've got any recommendations or any things you would like me to cover in future videos. Subscribe and thumbs up would be appreciated. And I'll see you next time.